The ball is incomplete. They stopped it. As the Black Diamond Trophy comes back home to Morgantown. The year was 1912, that's 109 years ago, and there they were, the West Virginia University Mountaineers and the Virginia Tech Hokies playing football on a patch of grass known as Miles Field. The game was the first ever meeting between the two schools, and little did those players know, but they would become the seeds of a rivalry that has stood the test of time. Along the way, fans from both sides have embraced elation and dealt with depression. And isn't that what a rivalry is all about? Regardless of which side you were cheering for, the series defined the true essence of college football, emotion, tradition, and passion. Unfortunately, the almighty dollar led to the demise of the annual encounters. Conference realignment has shelved this series' regularity, but this afternoon here in Morgantown, we will step back in time, and those emotions will again rage like the rapids of the New River that meanders through both Virginia and West Virginia. And just like those rapids, the journey we're about to experience will be loud, rough, and at times, unpredictable. What will transpire on the field will not be for the faint of heart. It is time for a gridiron seance to channel our mountaineer and hokey heroes of years gone by. Who will make the next Grant Wiley fourth down tackle or Brian King interception? Who will race down the field to score a touchdown that will become an unforgettable memory and join the gallery of greats from years gone by? We're about to find out it is on. And this stadium is electrified as Staley approaches. Here's Turner, stretched out well by Alonzo Adai. Snap, running play, up the middle goes Letty Brown, he bursts free! Here's Letty over the 40, 15, 10, 5, end zone, touchdown! Letty Brown hit the Hokies with early lightning. Handoff pressure, Conzi steps up in the pocket, they're after him, they sacked him inside the 20. You can see that these defenders are flying to the ball. On first and ten, looks like Tech jumps off sides. Deggy drops, Deggy throws down the left sideline. He's got a man, and that pass is caught in the end zone. Bryce Ford, Wheaton caught it on the near side pylon. And with 9-11 to go, Mountaineers take a 13-0 lead. And this sellout crowd is on its feet. Fourth down in the yard, snap is back, quarterback keep, and it's going to be short. Did not get it. There's a deep shot, open near the 20 yard line, that's caught by Sam James. Deggy on second down and 10, throws a quick ball to Sam James, he breaks from a tackle, he's at the 5, he's in the end zone, touchdown! And Sam James builds the West Virginia lead with 7.44 to go in the second quarter. James in motion, it's a run for Brown, Brown across the 5 and dragged down near the 2. The kick is up and that kick is good. And they take the lead to 24 to 7. Snap is back, it's clean, the kick goes up, and that kick is no good! He missed it! And West Virginia will head to half, leading 24 7. Look, 6,195 days in incident. Final third, one third. Ah! So Dagey throws quickly. That's that kick is up. That kick is good. Casey Legg from 44 yards out. And the Mountaineer lead goes to 20 points. Burmeister three-step drop. Has some time. He gets hit. And he is dropped at the 15-yard line. Burmeister fakes a handoff. Deep drop. Pressure comes. They just ate him. They just ate Braxton Burmeister. Final play of the third quarter. Good run here for Blackshear to the outside, toward the end zone. And Blackshear is in. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Brown spinning. Still not down. Still not down. And now they blow it dead. Blackshear Burmeister has it. Looks, pumps, pocket collapses. And down he goes. They sacked him. Straight drop back. He lost the ball. West Virginia after it. It's going to be West Virginia ball, and it is. And trying to find something underneath. It's Holston. Holston cuts back inside the 10. Touchdown, Hockeys. Diggy 
Reed back in now on third and ten, setting up the screen. He throws, it's intercepted! Jermaine Waller with the pick! Comes down to this. No timeouts. Fourth and goal. The quarterback has it. Burmeister rolling the pocket to his right. He's looking. He pumps. He throws back. The ball is incomplete! They stopped it! As the Black Diamond Trophy comes back home to Morgantown. Man, like that right there, okay? I want you to think about this, all right? Because I'm, I'm a little emotional right now myself, okay? So you think about that. You got 60,000 people right there, all right? Singing country roads. Let me tell you something, all right? All the 6 a.m. mornings, right? All the stuff that you miss out being a regular college student. You tell me that feeling right there. You tell me how that felt, right? You tell me how that felt. And listen, man. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you because we had multiple times where we could have said, man, it just ain't our day. Here they come. Here they come. 27 to 7. Here they come. Right? But here's the deal. We talked about it. What, what was my last message at the team meeting day? It was about what? Defining moment, right? It's about a defining moment, man. And that fourth and four right there is going to be a defining moment in our program. It's going to be a defining moment for this team because we drew in the line in the sand and said, it ain't happening today. All right? And I love you. I appreciate you. Let me tell you something. It's been 6,100. <laughs>